practical will require a rope attached to a car and a few persons to pull the rope. We'll see how many persons does it require to pull the car. This involves a lot of tension on the rope. In the first scene, we can see two persons on the left side pulling the rope. On the right side, the car is in L and is pulling the rope in the opposite direction. In this tug of war, there is tension on the mid of the rope. As we know, tension is always in the opposite direction to the applied force. So we have assumed that there is no kinetic friction. Let's find the tension by subcalculation. Here are some formulas which we will use to find our results. Total force F2 minus F1 equals 3600 Newton minus 720 Newton equals 2880 Newtons. Total mass 140 plus 1240 equals 1380 kg. Acceleration F net over total mass equals 2880 over 1380 equals 2.0869 meter per second square. Force on left side. F net equals mass into acceleration where mass is 140 and acceleration is 2.0869 and total force on the left side is 292.1660. Tension T equals F net plus N, where F net is 292.1660 and N is 720 and total tension is 1012.166. Acceleration equals 2880 over 1380, which equals 2.0869 meter per second square. Force on the right side, F net equals 1240 into 2.0869. So the total force on the right side is 2587.75600. Tension F net equals minus T plus N, where T is 2587.7560 and N is 3600. And the total tension is 1012.244. So the value of the tension in the rope is 1012.2 Newton since in both cases we get the same value of tension so it is verified that our solution is true. In the second scene we can see four persons on the left side pulling the rope and on the right side car is pulling the rope in the opposite direction. Again there is a tension on the mid of the rope and we know it's in the opposite direction to the applied force so we've assumed that there is no kinetic friction. Let's again find the tension by some calculations. Total force F2 minus F1 equals minus 720 Newton. Total mass is 840 plus 1240 equals 2080 kilograms. Acceleration F net over total mass equals minus 720 over 2080. So total acceleration is minus 0.3461 meter per second square. Force on the left side F net equals mass into acceleration where mass is 840 and acceleration is minus 0.3461. So total force on the left side is minus 290.724. Tension T equals F net plus N, where F net is minus 290.724 and the value of N is 4320. So the total tension is 4029.2760. Acceleration equals 2160 over 1520. So the total acceleration is 1.4210 meter per second square. Force on the right side is F net equals 1240 into 1.4210. So the total force on the right side is 1762.04. Tension T equals N minus F net, where the value of N is 3600 and the value of F net is 1762.04. So the total value of tension is 1837.96 Newton. So the value of tension in the rope is 1837.9 Newton since in both cases we get the same value of tension, hence it is verified that our solution is true. In the third scene, we can see that this time 10 persons on the left side are pulling the rope and on the right side, car is trying to accelerate but it is unable to do so. In this tug of war, we can also notice the car remains stationary and car tires start spinning. Total force F2 minus F1 equals 3600 Newton minus 3600 Newton. So the total force is zero. Total mass is 700 plus 1240 equals 1940 kilograms. Acceleration F net over total mass equals zero over 1940, which ultimately equals to zero meters per second square. 
In a tug of war, if the teams are applying equal force on the rope, then the net force on the rope is zero and hence the rope stays at the same place or remains stationary and the car tires start spinning. This time, we can see 12 persons on the left side are pulling the rope and the car is trying to accelerate, but the force of the 12 persons is greater than the force of the car, so it is being pulled by them. Total force F2 minus F1 equals minus 720 Newton. Total mass 840 plus 1240 equals 2080 kilograms. Acceleration F net over total mass equals minus 720 over 2080. So the total acceleration is minus 0.3461 meters per second squared. Force on the left side F net equals mass into acceleration, where mass is 840 and acceleration is minus 0.3461. So the total force on the left side is minus 290.724. Tension T equals F net plus N, where the value of F net is minus 290.724 and the value of N is 4320. So the total value of tension is 4029.2760. Acceleration equals minus 720 over 2080, so the total acceleration is minus 290.724 meter per second square. Force on the right side, F net equals 1240 into minus 0.3461, so the total force on the right side is minus 429.1640. Tension T equals N minus F net, where the value of N is 3600 and the value of F net is minus 429.1640, so the total value of tension is 4029.1640. 164 Newton. Since in both cases we get the same value of tension, hence it is verified that our solution is true.